Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm answering now question number 11 from the October, November 2022 um, paper 4 variant 2, the IGCSE Cambridge 0580 exam. And this question is all about vectors. Part A tells us it's got this funny symbol here, like these two lines and a vector inside it equals 205 over 2. Um, and you've got the components of the vector 9m and 40m. It says find the two possible values of m. So what does this mean? Well, these two lines, when you've got around a vector, means the magnitude of the vector, how long the line is of that, that vector. Okay, so for example, if you have a vector A, which is x, y, then, you know, to get from beginning to the end of the vector, you've got to go, you know, x along horizontally and y vertically. So this is the vector here. Okay, x, y. And the length of this vector can be found by using Pythagoras' theorem the square root of x squared plus y squared. So they've told us that the magnitude of this vector, 9m and 40m, is 205 over 2. So basically, what we can do is if we square 9m, all of 9m, and we add to that the square of 40m, that will give us 205 over 2 squared. Okay, it's like the square root of this is equal to the square root of that. So we, we don't have to put the, the square root because we want to find m in the end anyway. So we need to get rid of the square root. So I'll, I'll write it. The square of the two shorter sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Basically, they're telling us that this length is 205 over 2. And this is 9m. And this is 40m. So I know that this squared plus that squared equals that squared. Right? By Pythagoras' theorem. So this is going to be 81m squared. Don't forget to square both of the numbers inside here. And 40, if you square it, it gives you 1,600. You have m squared. 40 times 40, 1,600. And that's equal to 205. I'll, I'll work out what that is. <clears throat> so we have, doing bracket, sorry, one second. I've got bracket 205 over 2. Whoops over 2 and then all squared that gives me 420025 420025 sorry so 420025 420025 over 2 over 4 sorry Okay, so this gives me 1,681 m squared is equal to 4,225 over 4. So I can say m squared is there, therefore equal to 4,225 over 4 times 1,681. Okay, because just divide by that. So that will give me m squared equals... So I'm going to take this and basically divide it by 1,681. That gives me this 8,405, 8,405 over 1,344. So now I've got to find the square root. Now it says find the possible, the two possible values of m. They are found by taking the positive or negative square root of both of these. So we've got to find the positive and negative square root of both of, of, of this. So 8,405 over 1, 3, 4, 4. So I'll take this fraction and I'm going to find the square root of this answer. And that gives me, um, it's either positive or negative, 2.50. So plus or minus 2.507. Is it 07? 007. 007. 007 da, da, da. so it's going to be 2.50 or negative 2.50 um they didn't say in exact form so it's just right round it to these um two decimal two three significant figures as we're meant to do and there's the answer for 11 part a okay so there's the answer to part a so you round it to uh, 3sf that's the normal thing unless it tells you otherwise so that's fine then part b Okay, you have this diagram, this vector geometry diagram here. So it's given you an, a parallelogram. So we know that the opposite sides are parallel and equal in length. So I can say OA and CB 
and OC and AB are AC and, and sorry AB and OC are equal. OA and CB are also equal because they're, they're opposite sides of these parallelograms with these sides are, are parallel and the same length. All right, so that's what we know. It says P is the point such that C to P, the ratio of C to P to P to B is three to one. Okay, that's three times as long as that line. All right, so it says find in terms of A and or C in the simplest form, first of all, the vector from A to C. So A to C, that's pretty simple. You want to go from A to C, there to there. You know you have to go from A to O and then from O to C. So A to C is like from A to O plus O to C. Okay, so A to O, as we can see, is negative A. And O to C is plus C. So we can write this as, if you want to make it look neater, C minus A. That's a vector AC. Vector C minus A. Then it says a vector from C to P. Now from C to P, okay, we can see that this is basically, the whole thing is you can say four parts, and C to P is three parts out of four of C to B. Okay, C to P is three quarters of C to B, right? So we can say this is, this is equal to three quarters of C to B, which is three quarters of, now we've got to find the vector from C to B. If I want to go from C to B, okay, it's the same as the vector A, as I said, because CB is parallel and the same length as O to A because this is a parallelogram, right? So the reason why they mentioned this is a parallelogram, so we know for sure that the opposite sides are the same length and parallel to each other. So this can be called also vector A. This is vector A as well, this whole thing from C to B. So this is three quarters of, of basically of A. So the answer is oops, three quarters of A. So there's the answer for C to P, three quarters of the vector A. That's in terms of A and or C. Then it says O to P. Now O to P is from here to there, well that's pretty simple as well because you're gonna go C from O to C and then C to P and we know both of them. Okay, so O to P is from O, as we can see from O to C and then from C to P. So O to C plus C to P and we know O to C already is the vector C and O to P we just found it as, um, and sorry, C to P we just found it as three quarters A. So O to C is the vector C plus three quarters of A. So we can leave it like that. We can write it as three quarters A plus C if we want, no problem, that's fine. Both ways are fine. So C plus three quarters of A, that is the vector um, from O to P. All right, so there's up to a number of part D, I think there's. Now for part two of question 11, part B, it says OP and AB are extended to meet at Q. So the line OP, is extended okay and also the line a b is extended such that they meet at the point q just straighten that out a bit that's a b and that's o b Okay, so they meet at the point Q. So here we have the point Q. Now, find the position vector of Q. So the position vector means in relation to the origin from O to that point. So whenever you see the word position vector, you're looking for the letter O somewhere. Here's the letter O, so it means from O to Q. That's what it means, a vector from O to Q. All right, just like part B had one part of it where it said find the vector O to P, they could have said find the position vector of P. It would have been the same answer as, you know, O to P, because the, the position vector means from O to that point. So we've got to find the vector from O to Q. So I've got to try to find some sort of relationship between these lengths O, Q, A, Q, and the, what we have. We have this is A and this is C, from A to B is C. And we've got to find some sort of relation between them. And what we can do, and I've prepared this a bit earlier, we can look at the fact that, that you have a, a triangle here which is, let's make this a bit, you have the triangle OAQ, OAQ, this triangle, and you have this triangle PBQ. So I prepared something a bit earlier, 
to save a bit of time. So I've just put them over there so we can see. So here we have this triangle OAQ. Okay, so I'll, I'll draw this over here. This is the triangle O, A, Q. Okay, so this is the vector A. Um, this is not C, C stops at B, so it's not C. It's, it's some multiple of C, but we don't know exactly right now what it is. We, that will help us answer the question, of course. Then we have this small triangle P, B, Q. Okay, which is this triangle P, B, Q. I know that this part of it is one quarter of BC or CB, which is the same as the vector O to A. So this is one quarter of A then, basically. Right, so I know that that's A, that's one quarter A. So I know that the ratio, I know that the triangle OAQ is similar to triangle PBQ. And the ratio of the length is four to one. Okay, this is four times the length of this. All right, so now I want to find the vector from O to Q. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from O to A, which I know is the vector A. That's fine. I've got that part. Plus, I'm going to find the vector from A to Q. So I've got to find some sort of link between, you know, A to Q and, for example, A to B. Now, I know the vector from A to B is C. I want to find what the vector A, Q, A to Q is. It's going to be some multiple of C. It's going to be a top-heavy fraction because it's bigger than 1, bigger than C. So we're going to work out what that is, and we can use these ratios of the sides to do so. So, for example, I know that, um, you know, in terms of the ratios, I know that A to Q to um, A to B, the ratio is 4 to 1. Okay, this is 4, 4, and um, not A to B, sorry, and B to Q. And B to Q, sorry. B to Q is 4 to 1. Okay, this is 4 parts, and um, this is 1 part, right? This is 4 parts, this is 1 part. So what I can say is um, that I can say that if I'm thinking about the vector from um, A to Q, right? I can think that uh, if this is 1 quarter, of A to Q. This part is one quarter of A to Q. And from A to B is three quarters of A to Q. Okay, three quarters of A to Q. This, because the ratio of A to Q um, to B to Q is one, is four to one. So this is three parts, this is one part. So if the whole thing is A to Q, this is three quarters of A to Q. So I can say that A to B, the vector A to B, is equal to three quarters of the vector A to Q. So I know the vector A to B is the vector C. So the vector C is three quarters of the vector A to Q. And what I need to find is A to Q. That means A to Q, if I rearrange this, is four over three of C. Okay, A to Q is four over three times C. So I know that this is A plus four over three C. And there's my answer. A plus 4 over 3C. So it's a bit of a different type of question, a bit tougher than normal, but it's not something that's impossible. You have to just understand about the ratio of the sides and use a bit of a similarity to get the answer. Okay, it's only worth two marks, which is, you know, maybe they, put, they made it less marks so that people wouldn't lose so many marks on it. I don't think that many people would have got it right, but this would definitely help us to... Um, understand how to do this using similarity. Okay, so that is the um, conclusion of this question. Yep, so that concludes question number 11. Is 11? Yep. And um, other questions from this particular paper from October, November 2022 can be found in the playlist that will appear somewhere in this region here. Um, and other questions about vectors from IGCSE can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And you can watch this video that we'll show here to help you um, navigate, you know, tell you how to navigate my channel and find things that might help you. Thank you for watching and see you soon.